So for this problem, I want to find the average of this function f of x on a closed interval 0, 4. So first, remember the formula that we have the average value is equal to 1 over b minus a of integral a uh, to b of f of x dx, where a and b in this case is 0 and 4 correspondingly. So in other words, I'm going to have 1 over 4 minus 0 times the integral between 0 and 4 of e to the power of square root of x dx. So our problem is to actually to figure out uh, that integral and especially like how to integrate the function in the form e to the power of square root of x. And here I'm again, again, I'm going to use the general idea how to approach this type of integrals. Every time when you see something that you don't like, and in this case, I don't like the square root of x because if I have just x then that integral is pretty simple then just try u sub. So I'm going to set t is equal to square root of x then dt is going to be equal to 1 over 2 square root of x dx and uh, here you need to observe something that what we're going to obtain that we need to find uh, the bound the boundary points and the boundary points are going to be t at 0 0 and t at 4 is going to be equal to 2. So I'm going to obtain the integral of 1 over 4 e to the power of t but what is going to happen with dx? For that case, just observe that uh, we have the part the dt of 1 over 2 square root of x dx. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 square root of x. And then we have the relation between square root of x and t. So I'm going to have the dx is equal to 2t dt. So that's why I'm going to just write uh, that my, I have e to the t times 2t uh, dt. And here uh, I'm going to put my bound, boundary points and again, uh, 2 is going to get cancelled out, so I'm going to have 1 half of integral between 0 and 2t e to the power of t dt. And this integral is pretty familiar, uh, and here I just need to use uh, integration by parts. And uh, if I'm going to apply the uh, general technique for integration by parts, then I'm going to have uh, 1 half times uh, t e to the t between 0 and 2 minus the integral of the exponent. And if I'm going to just do a simple algebra, and then integrating my function, I'm going to get uh, e to the t. You can see that my final answer is going to be e squared plus 1 over 2.